In 2020, I had gone to a cardiologist and just for a regular checkup. And with the blood work, I noticed that some of my kidney uh, levels were not right. The EGFR, the kidney, the creatinine. And I questioned that and he thought, oh, you're just dehydrated. It must be you're just dehydrated, you're fine. And then that December, I wound up in the ER for something else and they just did a urine test. Now the urine test that I had six months earlier showed nothing. By December, it showed traces in my, of blood in my urine. So uh, my GP asked me to have a scan of my bladder. Um, he didn't see very much and then asked me to see it, check with a nephrologist. So I did and the nephrologist did several tests, but couldn't figure out what was going on. She said, I know something's brewing in your kidneys. I just can't figure out what it is. I hate to put you through this, but I'm gonna ask you to have a kidney biopsy. Both she and the doctor who performed the biopsy were very surprised to find that I had C3. Yeah, C3G is an autoimmune disease which affects the kidneys and eventually will lead to kidney failure. More of an impact has been the emotional uh, change. You know, having to, to deal with living with a disease, any disease that's progressive and incurable. That in itself can be emotionally challenging, not knowing um, if you're gonna ever wind up on dialysis. And I wouldn't wanna see anyone else have to go through that, although obviously many of us are going through it. I think the thing that is most important is to find the research, educate yourself as much as possible, and advocate for yourselves. The doctors don't know everything. As I said, my cardiologist didn't know, my GP didn't know. We found it very early. My kidneys were still healthy, and they still are relatively healthy. It is progressing a bit, but not um, not to the point where I'm in serious trouble with my kidneys. We still have a long way to go, they tell me. So I'm lucky in that sense.